So in this problem, we're told to find the area of the region between these two curves. And so we're given the functions x equals 1 minus y squared and x equals y squared minus 1. And so the difference from these, this problem to previous ones is that we have x equals a y function. So it's basically swapped, right? So instead of having x, or what we usually have, we have y. And so basically just the curves are going to be facing this way instead of upwards like normal. And so... What we want to do first is find our upper and lower bounds, right? So we got to, you can see graphically what they are, right? So you find the area between these two curves. So the upper and lower bounds are minus one and one. But if you don't have a graphing calculator like this, uh, what you could do is just set them equal to each other. So one minus y squared equals y squared minus one. And then what you could do is just minus one for both sides. So minus y squared equals y squared minus 2, and then minus y squared from both sides. So minus 2y squared equals minus 2, and then divide by minus 2. So y squared equals 1. And then uh, uh, y squared, what you could do is square root. So y equals plus or minus the square root of 1. So it's just minus 1 and plus 1. And so we could see that's what it was here, but just in case you don't have a graphing calculator or you're not allowed to use one, that's how you would find it. So our two values are y equals 1 and y equals minus 1. So now what we want to do is create our integral. And so we already know the upper and lower bounds. It's minus 1 and 1. But what goes on the inside is usually what we do is we take the function that's above it, right? But in this case, we don't have one that's above. They're side to side. So you want to take the one that's to the right uh, of the function, right? So this one's on the right during our interval. So you're going to want to take that one to be first. So in, that's, in this case, the red, uh, red line is going to be 1 minus y squared. And then you're going to minus the one that's on the left. So minus y squared minus 1. And so what we can do is simplify this. So this is just going to become minus y squared plus 1. And so 1 plus 1 is 2. And then minus y squared minus y squared is minus 2y squared. So we can just rewrite it as minus 2y squared plus 2. And so now what we've got to do is just solve this integral, and it's going to tell us the area between these two curves. So uh, the antiderivative of minus 2y squared is going to be y cubed, and then we're dividing by 3, and then multiply by minus 2. So minus 2 over 3 y cubed. And then uh, the antiderivative of 2 is just going to be 2y. And then so we're evaluating from 1 and minus 1. So let's write that. So we're going to plug in 1, get a value, minus whatever minus 1 plugged in is. So let's plug in 1 first. So minus 2 over 3 times 1 cubed plus 2 times 1. So 1 cubed is just going to be 1 times minus 2 over 3 is going to be minus 2 over 3. And then we're just 2 times 1 is 2, so plus 2. And then what we want to do is rewrite this 2 to be over 3 because this one's over 3. So we can rewrite it as 6 over 3. And then minus 2 over 3 plus 6 over 3 is 4 over 3. So when we plug in 1, we get 4 over 3. Then we want to minus whatever minus 1 plugged in is. So minus 2 over 3 times minus 1 to the 3 plus 2 times minus 1. So minus 1 cubed is just minus 1 times minus 2 over 3. The minus is cancel, so it's just 2 over 3. And then we have 2 times minus 1, which is minus 2. Then we're going to rewrite the 2 as 6 over 3 like we did in that one. So 2 over 3 minus 6 over 3 is equal to minus 4 over 3. And so we have 4 over 3 minus whatever minus 1 plugged in is, which is minus 4 over 3. So it's 4 over 3 minus minus 4 over 3. So those are, those are just going to cancel, so... 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3. And so 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3 is 8 over 3. So the area between these two curves is going to be equal to 8 over 3.